Hello everyone! In previous video uh, we have installed Redis and in this one we'll install Entity Cache and we will check performance. Uh, for example, how much time does it take, uh, does it take to load uh, 500 uh, entities of nodes? Let's install Entity Cache module on our Drupal installation of previous video. Uh, let's install it also through Drush. So we type in Drush en entity cache and mm -hmm, and enter. Okay. Uh, good. Um, let's install module devil and rush and devil to have possibility to run some PHP codes on page and also a uh, devil generate module and generate to have possibility to generate our 500 nodes okay we're waiting great uh, go back uh, to our Drupal site uh, go to configuration uh, generate content let's generate 500 nodes 100 and generate uh, generating okay done uh, let's go uh, to check if our nodes are generated uh, here they are it seems they are. <laughs> uh, what next? Uh, we see our Redis server is started. Uh, next, we have our entity cache module installed. So let's check how much time does it take to uh, load our 500 nodes. To check it, we have to open Devil PHP page, where we can run some PHP code. Uh, I have it saved. Um, Wait a second. Here it is. Uh, so we have to load uh, all node IDs from database, and in for each each node is loaded. Um, okay. At the end, we check how much time it takes to download these uh, five hundred nodes. Uh, so run it. Uh, good. Uh, first time it took uh, three point five seconds because all nodes go to cache. Uh, next time, let's see. Uh, they'll they'll be taken from cache and uh, it's approximately. Let's try again. Um, zero point something. <laughs> So um, let's just disable Redis and enter to cache. Let's disable it also through Drush. Drush. Enter to cache. Uh huh. Okay. And in PHP settings, let's comment uh, Redis settings. Okay. Uh, save. And what next? Let's try to start this code again. So, execute. Oh, okay. Um, now we have uh, one point nine once again. Uh -huh. So less and less. <laughs> now zero point two point three average. As we can see, Redis in combination with Entity Cache takes the data from cache in three or four times faster than default Drupal. Uh, perhaps this difference will be even many times less on your servers, because MySQL and InnoDB is a bit tuned on our local machine. Uh, but anyway, we see uh, great results of performance. 
Um, as a summary, if you have so many nodes, taxonomies, users on the site, you should start to try using this combination of modules. Uh, so thanks for watching us. Stay with us. Uh, sing Drupal. Bye.